Okay, so now we've gotten familiar with the basics and it's time to really start looking at some ways that you can take it to the next level. So let's get beyond the basics <laughs> and we're gonna get started with reviews and why you want them. Yeah, so reviews are very important on Google My Business for a number of reasons. One is social proof. Uh, we know people trust uh, the experience others have with a business, so you definitely wanna ask your customers for review and respond to them. That's a big important thing uh, in, in Google's universe is they wanna see that business owners have responded to them. A few reasons you want to ask for uh, and respond to reviews. One is Google ranking factor. Basically, the sooner the better they want to see what that turnaround time is that starts to impact results uh, because it shows you're an active, caring business. So that's why it's important. Conversion factor. Uh, listings with reviews stand out because they have gold stars uh, in the search engine results page. Um, so that also just stands, it literally stands out because there's that little yellow peeking out at you. There's also an opportunity to add keywords, uh, geography related to your, or as well as to the business within that. And then Google wants you to respond, so they have many options. So when you get a review, you can quickly, easily get to these. You can do it through email because they send you an email if a review is posted. Through the Google My Business uh, desktop dashboard, it's very easy to get your reviews. If you're logged in and you're searching on Google, you can do it directly through the knowledge panel. You can also do it through the Google My Business app, and you can also do it um, on the Google Maps desktop as well. So Google says it's important, and they're trying to back that up by making it easy for you to get in and engage with those reviews as well. So the knowledge panel, so I wanted to show you what that looks like here. So not only do they think it's that important, they have reviews in three places on the knowledge panel. So up at the top, uh, you'll have the ranking and number of Google reviews that you have. Um, it also allows you to have reviews from the web populate as well as reviews from third party services. So it really wants to show off that, as we call it, that social proof that your business is liked by actual real human consumers. So as we've mentioned several times, there is an app for Google My Business. Um, it allows you to manage your business from anywhere. Um, so, you know, you've already, you're already using multiple apps probably on your phone a day. So why not add this one in? Um, mm -hmm. It is a free app that you can use um, and it offers features in addition to what's available on desktop. There are also some things that are not available on the desktop version of Google My Business. So that's stuff like following other businesses, adding a welcome post to new followers and messaging. And then one of the, more interesting newer features is the addition of the follow function, which allows users in Google Maps in the Google Maps app to follow a business. And then anytime that business adds a new post, the followers can get an alert in their for you section of the Maps app. So there, that's another level of interaction with your audience. So Google Assistant is another feature um, that they've added to it. And so this feature can make uh, makes phone calls on behalf of searchers for booking an appointment or confirming business information, a store hours um, on a listing. Google Assistant also calls your business using an automated voice calling technology called Duplex and asks questions and confirms information based on customers' requests. So when calls start, the person who answers is advised to uh, advise that the assistant is calling and follows a series of questions based on what the searcher or client wants to accomplish. Um, so give a heads if you have other people on your team answering the phone, let them know that if they hear from Google Assistant, answer the questions. <laughs> um, that This is them just trying to streamline uh, information to consumers as fast as possible. So it is turned on by default. Um, you can app out of this uh, vis-a-vis -vis the Google My Business setup or telling Google Assistants during the call, please remove me from the list if you don't wanna do that. Um, so just know that you don't have to, but that is, that is something that they've added in there as well. All right, so there's also a questions and answer feature within Google My Business, um, and it's pretty prominently displayed in the knowledge panel. And this kind of began as a feature where anyone could ask the questions as well as answer the questions. So the reason um, this is so important is it gives you a chance to create your own list of questions and corresponding answers to address your audience's questions before they ask. Um, kind of think of it a lot like an FAQ section. Um, we know that Google will often suggest answers to users' questions. 
um, as we're typing them. So the answers are sourced first from reviews, then your posts, because as we said earlier, Google places the customers above um, the business in this aspect. Um, and it's also worth noting that any question that has three upvotes is gonna appear in your knowledge panel. So if a lot of people are asking a certain question and finding that useful, the, if they upvote it, it's gonna show up there. Um, so just some general guidelines to follow when you're responding to questions from users. Um, respond to all of them, even if another person on Google has already answered the question and given them the correct information. Um, because seeing that direct response from a business is going to help validate the rest of your responses and it's just another touch point for engagement with your potential customers and your current audience. Um, definitely report anything that's off topic or inappropriate questions as spam and then address complaints as well as comments. Treat the complaints like a negative review and um, you know just let people know you're sorry that they had a negative experience and um, whatever your protocol is for addressing it further from there you know if you want to try and talk to them or email or whatever, take those next steps based on whatever your individual protocol is for that. All right, I alluded to this earlier. This is the phone number. If you need help with Google My Business, you can call Google My Business. Um, so it's easy, pretty easy to find through the website as well, but um, this is available, as we said, we'll send out uh, the presentation um, and digital information about this to you guys after um, so that you have access to this. But yeah, don't hesitate to call them. You can also call us. We're happy to help as well. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty great new little feature that um, is really starting to grow. All right. Well, hopefully you have feel more confident and have a better understanding about why Google My Business is such an important tool. And if you haven't started diving into it yet, hopefully you're ready. And if you've been using it, keep going. Hopefully you've learned a little something new today. Um, to help you in your current efforts. Um, with that being said, we are ready to take any questions. So go ahead and post them in the chat box if you haven't already. You can also tweet them to us on Twitter at RPS123Shoot, S-H-O-O-T. So we'll give you guys a couple minutes if you have a question to start posting those. Well, we'll hang out here for just a little bit. We appreciate everybody's time uh, and spending some time with us, as we said. We'll send out, we'll have this recording up on YouTube shortly. We'll have some uh, PDFs that we'll send out to you of the deck and any other resources that we have. Um, please do not hesitate to reach out to us with questions. Uh, we'll hang out on here until people start to sign off. And we'll have another, oh, we have a question coming through. Oh, it was just a thank you. Thank you, Becky. <laughs> um, we'll look forward to all of, uh, yeah, please don't hesitate to reach out. We're happy to answer questions and we will chat with you. Um, and I can give you that Google phone number again. I just had that asked. I'll pull that slide back up. There you go. So it's 844-491-9665. You can also just Google, Google my business phone number. <laughs> Just had a question come in. How would a searcher see or come across a Google post? Um, so when the, the knowledge panel populates, um, it is gonna be in that knowledge panel. It's at the bottom of it. Um, so that's a great question. Let me see if I can, we'll just do a quick little Google search. Oops. when I hope ours haven't expired. Let me make my screen a little bit bigger. We had one yesterday, so. Oh. This is tricky when you have a name that's also a game. All right, there we go. So there is what's populating. So if you scroll down, the posts are at the bottom. Um, so this is, you know, this is not necessarily something that's gonna populate right at the beginning of it. Um, we feel like there's gonna be a lot more with these posts and being able to promote them over time. So this is just something we'll, we'll keep updates going out to everybody on that. Um, and another question, I see spammy reviews um, on my clients, Google My Business, how do you delete it? You can't, unfortunately. You can report them and sometimes they'll get removed. Um, what I usually just, and we even have some spammy ones as well. Um, the best way to counteract it is really just to ask, ask customers and clients for good reviews. Um, people notice, they know what those spammy reviews look like. It's not like, you know, people are intelligent in these worlds. Um, 
So let me see if I can show you what those look like while we have everything up here. Let's see, I need the screen to be a little bit bigger for you guys. All right, so yeah, if I show Google reviews, you can see what mine look like. Um, they're just really, now some of them are like, we actually do web and print work, so that's correct. Um, this first one, it's super generic. It doesn't mean anything. Um, so from us, from that standpoint, I, it doesn't mean anything to us. And then this last one, uh, I don't even know who that is. Um, so that's just a review on there that um, that's what it ends up looking like. Um, so you wanna see a, a call to action, sure. Um, I'm gonna just log into Google My Business. Sorry, I'm gonna move some screens around real quick. Do we have one live on our site right now? Yep. Sweet. The um, webinar post. Here's a sign up button on them. So right here on this post um, where you see we're 24 hours away from mm -hmm. Google My Business webinar, what we posted yesterday, there is a sign up button. Mm -hmm. So that's what that would look like. And that um, clicks over to the registration link that you guys mm -hmm. use to register for this webinar. So if you click on that, this is mm -hmm. what it actually ends up looking like in your yeah. view. Um, so it actually does become a button. Um, and I think we've only been using signups. Yeah. Yeah. it up on the back side since we're you are welcome Alana Ooh. all right so for anybody who is interested this is what the back end of it looks like and kind of navigate you through it um so i've just logged in and you see how easy create a post is um right up here add a photo create an ad it's all right from this piece so if we're talking about um the post if i click this so i'm going to do a test post with test message so the button is this drop down right here and then you just pick which one you want so if you want to do book um, it then allows you to put a link in there and so that's when you want to use the uh, utm code with that link so you can track it um, but makes it pretty easy with call now it allows you to put your phone number in so that's great for mobile because then it's just it's a finger friendly button for people to easily call and engage with mm -hmm. um, with your business and track and they track that which is really great you get reports oh we didn't even talk about reports you get reports emailed to you on a pretty regular basis of mm -hmm. how people are engaging with posts or images or looking at your profile so google's really trying to help you be a better better marketer mm -hmm. in regards to that so that you're getting those triggers which i think is one of the really nice things mm -hmm. about it is it's pushing those triggers to you so that you don't forget about it um which not all the other platforms do a great job at. they just expect you to be in there and yeah we are in there but it's easy to forget about it and also we're not thinking about from that strategic standpoint so that's why we really like that google my business feature of that I think you get reports about once a week um, and I will go ahead and say if you have ever seen a Google Analytics report or mm -hmm. gone back into your Google Analytics, that can be really overwhelming for somebody that doesn't live in that world. Um, I think Google My Business does a really good job of breaking it down so that it's easy to understand because they realize not everybody is a marketer by trade or looking at these mm -hmm. kind of analytics on a regular basis. So they've done a really good job at kind of breaking the information down so it's easy to digest. Mm -hmm. Um, just had a question. Will the um, will the information in the in the term is knowledge panel uh, with all the info show up when they do a direct search for a business? Yes, and that's what I did. Is I put rock paper scissors in Lawrenceville, and so that's what was remove that. Um, we populated. Um, up here uh, and over in the knowledge panel so you can see because we've been more active my results are automatically starting to uh, show when I do a search because I'm also logged in as me um, and so it's helping also break down um, our website too so that information is going there another question about um, my client has an address on a uh, only has address on contact page. Should I have it somewhere on the home page? It doesn't necessarily need to be on the home page. Uh, we'll say from from a web design standpoint, we're seeing more and more uh, trending of putting contact information in your footer. 
um, so that it is on every page and people don't have to click through to that. So instead of just putting on your homepage, I would recommend looking at your footer design on your website and putting in more of that evergreen, quick, easy to grab information. And then FYI, the number just tells you to go to the website. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it, it will actually answer it. I've, I've, we've had a couple people call through and go successfully. So I'm not sure why it's just telling you and not actually being helpful with that phone number right now. Um, so keep me posted on that if anybody else calls to Google my business phone number. Any other questions, guys? So as we said, we'll send out um, we'll send out information after this. We'll give you links to the YouTube so you can go through and listen to it. We'll probably actually break it into smaller videos. So for that, setting it up, posting, and then some of these more advanced features just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to get through that. And then um, please just reply to those emails if you have any questions about that and we'll go from there. So we appreciate everybody's time today. and. We'll be back uh, in January. We're gonna take December and do all of our planning for next year's webinars. Uh, but our goal is to have at least two a quarter moving forward if more stuff comes up. And we're gonna be sending out a survey in December. Aha, this is an important one. We're gonna send out a survey in December because we'd love to know what information you guys would like to have available uh, or for us to do webinars or post blog posts on. So let us know. We have a bunch of knowledge that we're happy to share and get out there. Uh, but we'd like to not just guess at what's really interesting and what, uh, where, you're, where you're struggling. So please don't hesitate to say, hey, I'd love to learn more about that. And then also, please keep an eye out for that survey. Uh, it means a lot to us to be able to make sure that we're serving you guys um, in ways that actually benefit your clients and your businesses um, so you can really start growing from there. So we appreciate everybody's time and we'll be back. Uh, please keep an eye out for emails from us and we'll, we'll be back on this webinar back in January. <laughs>